Alright, welcome to uh, Goalie Tutorial 1. So it's mostly going to be like positioning. That's it. Uh, Alright, so first thing. Puck tracking. See where the puck is. Always face the puck. And don't uh, stay out of your crease. But not too far in either. Puck tracking should be pretty simple for any goalie to understand, especially for a game. Roblox game, it's not complicated at all, actually. So, next, um, obviously, going against a shooter. This is for a single shooter. For the AI, it's mostly going to just shoot. It's not going to really do anything else. So, for this, you want to go out of your crease more than you usually would go towards the shooter you'll have less time to react but that's less important than you know covering as much space as possible if you think they can make a one timer or something like that this is you know way harder a lot of the time if you're using shift lock the puck can go through you if you're moving you know something you want to do for one timers is be as close to your net as you can be in between the posts but don't hug the post directly so you can make the one-timer save without moving too much it's obviously going to be harder than one shooter and it's going to be hard to actually save it if it's a good shot and especially when you don't think it's going to be a one-timer pass because the ai usually sucks at that they can't really pass straight, usually. Another thing is, shots that just come out of nowhere. This is what puck track is mostly for. If, let's say a goalie tries to clear it down, the AI goalie tries to clear it down, and it just goes towards your net, and you're not paying attention, it might actually go in. This is what puck tracking is for. Even if it's going wide, um, play the puck, grab it, and clear it back down the other end 